tadi? <laughs> I love doing this, but I get <laughs> so nervous every morning, but it definitely wakes me up. Okay, we're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> I guess this is a new vlog so welcome back to my channel my name's Megan if you are new here I create daily work vlogs no I create just daily lifestyle vlogs nothing too crazy my content is not geared in any certain direction um, it is very like pet focused though I have three cats currently engaged planning a wedding so I do talk a lot about my wedding I also work a nine-to-five job I work from home my shift is actually seven to four and I'm currently trying to maintain a healthier lifestyle with better diet working out more and trying to work on my sleep sleep is a huge one um, I've been trying to become more of a morning person but I'm also a night owl so because of that my sleep is really lacking so that's something we're working on last night i got five and a half hours of sleep which is terrible but you know maybe i'll be really tired tonight and i'll go to bed early talk about reading a lot i've actually been on a reading hiatus recently not on purpose i just like have not been reading um i also am a homeowner my fiance and i bought our house two and a half years ago almost so a lot of house content as well a lot of talking about home decor plans for the house um renovations all that kind of stuff so good morning uh, it's currently tuesday it's only tuesday i want to cry i have a check-in in 30 minutes for work with my manager i think it's my quarter two evaluation but i just read the document and it was a raving review so i'm not nervous at all it's currently 9 30 and i also my neighbor is so nice she went through her closet and she actually like bagged up a bunch of clothes and brought them to my house for me to go through i went through them finally it took me like over a month to actually do it but i think it's because i was also simultaneously Simultaneously going through my clothes as well, but I need to bring those bags back over to her house And then I'm gonna come in make a smoothie and then I have my check-in I also need to just do some things in the kitchen like unload the dishwasher or whatever, but good morning It's actually like cold this morning. It was I went on a walk I've been trying to go on walks before work in the morning and I got up. I woke up at 6 15 That's when I set my alarm for now uh, I've been starting work at 7 30 the past few days just because someone else on my team is currently out and she's the one who helps me with all the morning task work so my manager was like just log in like at her time so that um you're not doing everything by yourself because the, we're all on staggered shifts like we do not all work the same shift it's really funny all of our shifts are staggered by 30 minutes I think for the most part, well, most of my team's actually in Colorado, so they're two hours behind. Long story short, I've been starting later just because if I was on at my time, the next person's not on till 8 a.m., so I'd be on for a whole hour by myself, and I would probably have most of the morning work done by then, so my manager was like, just log on later. That way, other people can log on and help you. So uh, because of that, I was able to go on a walk. I got up, fed the cats, did some things in the house, made the bed, went for a mile and a half walk almost. So. That was good. Also, short, quick little update. I'm actually going to Florida next week. So next Thursday, I'm leaving for West Palm Beach. I will be there from Thursday until Tuesday because my brother is on a work business trip and he was like, please come visit me over Labor Day. I'm gonna be so lonely. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, say it less. Flights are literally $200, it's so cheap. So I'm gonna fly down there, hang out with him for a few days and just get like the last bit of summer in with some 
hot sunny weather lay out by the pool hopefully get a tan just explore and i don't i have never mentioned this my parents actually used to live in west palm before i was born well after my dad graduated college he moved to west palm beach my parents got married then my mom moved down there with him and i don't even know how long they lived down there i really don't even think they lived down there for that long but it was like something they reference all the time and i have never been there so i'm excited to actually go see it like i think we're gonna go try to find their old house and everything i'm like excited it's gonna be so cool it'll be so nice to like get away and go on another trip i feel like i've been on so many trips recently but this will be really good and last time i was in florida when i went to desden back in april the weather was so terrible and it made me really sad so this will be nice to just have like an actual like nice weather florida trip so Anyway, and I'm actually taking all the days off so I don't even have to bring my work laptop, which is nice. I really just, I'm trying to make it more of a point that like when I go on a trip, I am not working. I used to be like, oh, well, I can like save the vacation days and I can just bring my work laptop and like work while I'm on vacation. And I just like, it's been a few years now and I'm just done with doing that. I don't want to do that anymore. Like when I'm off, I'm off. I'm not working. <laughs> so, okay. Hello. Had my meeting with my manager. It's been a few hours. I I made a TikTok this morning. I was proud of myself. I did a little morning TikTok. There's a girl I follow who does her 5 a.m. morning routine every day. And it's really just like inspired me to do that as well. Like making a little vlog doesn't have to be daunting. It can literally just be your morning routine. It can be your afternoon, your evening routine. It could literally just be like the shortest vlog like tiktok has so much creativity and like so does youtube but like tiktok is just quick like if i have an idea i can execute it like pretty quickly so that's been fun so i edited that earlier posted that and i'm on my computer i need to buy my plane ticket for next week i got my time off like fully approved so i'm so excited i'm so excited to go to florida and see my brother it's gonna be so fun i brought the bags to my neighbor's house um i mailed all of our save the dates yesterday oh my god i, I did a ginormous post office run yesterday i had poshmark orders i had the rest of the groomsmen and bridesmaid boxes i mailed all of our save the dates i mailed something else for matt and like when i mailed the save the dates i wanted to double check that like the stamp was good i didn't want to I, I wanted to make sure that they weren't too heavy for the stamp that i used i got all that mailed out it was like three trips in and out of the freaking store but we're all good i'm like waiting for people to text me that they got the save the dates because i'm sure all of our neighbors got theirs today and i'm pretty sure like some people that live like close by probably got them today so i'm really excited about that okay heading out for my afternoon walk it's literally like 68 degrees out still which is crazy but i'm gonna go on my walk it's also cloudy it's just kind of like i don't know i feel like we jumped to like fall weather hi what's up you mom's gonna go on her walk hi buddy love you you want more dry food he usually doesn't bother me unless he wants something so i think he, what do you want dry food watch if i go if i go get some he'll probably go running that's what you want it this is what you wanted, huh? There you go. See? Okay, headed off to Pilates. I haven't worn leggings in quite a while. Well, a while being like two weeks. Pilates time, let's hope the class isn't too hard because I'm gonna be so sore. Well, when I turned my car on earlier, I got my engine light. And I literally considered calling the studio and saying I'm not coming, but I tend to over freak out when it comes to the car. I'm like extremely cautious when it comes to the car i'm so scared of something breaking i'm always like literally terrified so um i called matt and i was like is it still safe to drive the car and he's like is it flashing and i was like no and he's like you're good you can drive all right i'm going into pilates i brought carrots i just ate a go macro bar i had a chicken breast before i left the house all right anyway i gotta go in class starts in five minutes so see ya i just got home from the grocery store Pilates was so good. Like Target went to the grocery store and now it's 9-12. Like I swear every time I go to the grocery store after a workout, I don't get home until nine. It happens like every time. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away. Look at this picture I got though. It's so cute from Target. I can link this. It was like $18. But it's like, Matt, Matt's gonna love this. He's gonna love it. I don't know where we're gonna put it though. 
Good morning, Wendy. Hi, buddy. Hello. Good morning, Wavy. Good morning. Mommy's gonna go downstairs and she's gonna go for a walk, okay? Come come, Wendy. My foot is so sore today. It hurts. It always hurts worse in the morning, but oh my goodness, it hurts so badly. Hi, good morning. Hi, baby. You wanna go in the garage? That way you're in It's such a tricky slope. Wait, I just gave you treats. It's such a tricky slope because it's like you need to work out or you need to eat more when you run to give yourself energy, but at the same time, it's like to be in a calorie deficit and lose weight, you need to eat less. And it's just like, it's so hard to know what to do, but I'm trying to just like train my body that I don't need to eat as much. That sounds really bad. Don't take that like, don't, please don't take that in a bad way. Um, okay, I'm gonna need my face done real quick. Where's my going? Okay, it's 7.02 and I start work at 7.30 and I wanna go on like a 30 minute walk, so <laughs> we're behind. Hi. All right. Ugh, every morning. It helps so much though. Like it literally feels so good. All right, here we go. That was a hard one. Why is it so hard? Oh, it feels so good. When you wait, when you put your face in, it's hard. When you pull it out, oh my God. When you pull your face out, it feels so good. All right, I do one more. I definitely get like water up in my nose though. Like I'm not. Right. Max, honey, you can go in the garage when I go outside. Hold on. Okay, I'm ready. Max. Max, you're ruining my like peace right now. That was a good one. That was a really good one. Okay. All I can think about, oh, hi girl. All I can think about when I pull my face out of it is like that big like <gasps> breathe in for like getting another breath. And in books, people put this out all the time. Oh my God. Is in books, when characters hold their breath, the author always writes that like, I let out the breath I was holding, which is not true because you're not, you're not holding like, you need to inhale. So I always think about that, if that made any sense to anyone. If you're on book talk, you know. These cats are just, I love you guys, but you are up in my business. It feels so good. It feels, that one, I put my face down further than usual for that one. That one felt really good. It just, I can't explain how good it feels, especially as someone who like has a really hard time waking up in the morning. It's super helpful. Okay, I'm gonna go on my walk now. Oh, it's so late. All right, I've made the switch to pumpkin coffee. I just made a TikTok of me making that, but which one did I use? I used the pumpkin spice. I also got this one at Target last night. Smoked butterscotch. Sounds delicious. Good morning. Do you want in? No, just when you wanted it. All right, bye girl. Bye, Max. He knows that when he comes in from being outside, that means it's treat time. Everyone's always like, show more of Winnie. We love Winnie. So here you guys go. I guess I'm chopped liver on this channel, huh? I've got to run the room, but today. Also, please, I've had so many comments about giving him temptations. I promise you, it's all he wants. He will not eat anything else. This is, the other two cats don't even eat these. It's just Winnie. And he is my most fit, in shape cat. My vet said, whatever. <laughs> so... Please, no more comments about the temptations. Like, I, I know, okay? I know. Hi, buddy. You smell like poop. You smell like dookie. And please don't get it on me. It, it literally smells, Winnie. Okay, I'll be honest, this is probably the worst part about cats. Well, dogs do this too, actually. And dogs are arguably actually worse if they have diarrhea. Ella used to get diarrhea and like, if you don't keep their fur trimmed, it gets stuck in their hair, their fur that hangs down. So honestly, dogs are kind of arguably worse. Cats, you can just really see their buttholes. 
And it's like right there. Hello. You got a piece of hoop stuck to your butt. I gotta get that for you, but I don't want to do it right now. What are you yelling about? I just hear you meowing. Come on, mom has to go do her skincare. Come on. <laughs> I need to make this. I talked about this comforter a few vlogs back, but this is the Zonely cooling mattress comforter or something like that. It's actually really good. I, the only thing I don't like is like, it's super light, which is a good thing. It's just like matte. Maybe it's because it's a little too small, even though this is like the king size. Um, it just gets kicked out from underneath, you can see. But that, I guess it's like a user problem. It's not like the product problem. Hello. Okay, I was getting some questions on my skincare routine. Um, I'll just show you guys my morning skincare. I'll pull all the products out. Um, and I can show you, I never like actually show you guys what I use, do I? Maybe I have like a while back, but it's probably been a while. Um, I keep my skincare super, super simple. I feel like when I write it out, it seems like more products, but honestly, like there's nights that I take a shower and I will just wash my face with a Dove bar of soap. And I, but that's like my cleanser. And then I finish my skincare obviously, but I know people say not to do that, but I don't know why. Like I, that's fine for me. I will say, I think I genetically just have like some decent skin. I never struggled with acne growing up. It was never something I had to deal with really. We like every once in a while, I get like one or two, but it was never like an overbearing issue that I had. I've never been on any sort of Accutane or anything. I will say like, I am lucky in that sense. And I, I was on birth control for seven years, six or seven years which does help with acne. And I was scared when I went off of it last year that I would have an issue, but my skin is perfectly fine. Like it honestly didn't even change when I went off of birth control. So anyway, what I use at night is I use this oil-free Neutrogena um, acne wash. I love this stuff. It's just like a gel. I buy it at BJ's in like a two pack. So it's like cheaper. Um, I really like it. I think it foams really nicely. I'm really picky about the texture of all of my products, just in general. I've, I am very picky about textures as a whole. I never really realized that about myself until I got older, but I'm very, very picky with the way stuff feels on my skin in general. So I like this one. I like how it feels. I like how it foams and I like how it leaves my skin feeling after. And then my skin will feel tight after, which I think is a sign of dry skin. So then I go through with this is like the Belif. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's their Aqua Bomb Hydrating Toner. I love this stuff. I will use this morning and night. I'm not like super consistent. I'll use it definitely every night. Sometimes in the morning I'll use it. It just depends. So I love this. I put this on a cotton pad, rub that on my face. Next I do Sephora. I've been using this for years. I talk about this all the time. I love it. It's just their C&E Super Glow Serum. I think this helps with um, scarring and redness. I don't really know, but I do have like a few, they're probably really hard to see on camera. I do have like a few scars like here. If I were to break out ever when I was younger, it was always like right here. Cause I would sit like that. So I do have like a little bit of some scarring there. It's, oh, you know what it is when I sit at the computer, I am left-handed. So this is my left hand. But when I'm on the computer, you use it with your right hand and I'll sit with my head in my hand and that's why I would break out there. So this is really good. I think this helps with like redness, scarring. I think it helps with like the overall like coloring of your face to keep it consistent. So I use that and then I've been using this as my daily nighttime moisturizer for a very long time, <laughs> like five years. I don't even know, but it's the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair cream intense hydration i i think this is the one i buy it from qvc sometimes like look how this is like a ginormous tub it's huge um but when i go on vacation i do have like smaller tubes of it from like you know the travel section of sephora so i will i, I travel I, I always use that as my nighttime moisturizer i have not used anything different in a very long time and then in the morning i use Cetaphil, this is like a foam. I'm gonna use this like in a minute, uh, but it comes out as a foam and it's very easy to just like, it's an easy morning step. Like I don't have to do too much. Oh, also I should say at night when I use the Neutrogena, when I use this, I use my Foreo. I should share that, it looks dirty. But I got this from Ulta during their like 
when did, when did they do that? Like the semi-annual sale where like they have certain things that are on sale every day. I got this during that time. So I got it for like a really good price. Um, the battery on it lasts forever. So I've only had to charge it like a handful of times, honestly, but it just like vibrates and helps you like clean your face. So I love that. So that's what I use with this. And that always comes on vacation with me as well. So always using that. So morning I use this. And then for moisturizer, I use Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I love, 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 love. It's like a gel cream. It sits on the skin and it sinks in really nicely. And if you are doing makeup in the morning, this is a great base because it doesn't sit on top of your skin and interfere with your foundation. It soaks in really, really well. And it doesn't leave your skin feeling like slimy. Like I know some white, like this, will leave my skin feeling slimy at night. But that's what I want when I'm going to bed. In the morning, I do not want that feeling on my face. Get it off. So a gel cream in general is usually pretty good, but this one I find soaks into my skin really, really well. So I actually started using this when I was going into the office and I was putting makeup on in the morning. I love this one because it would soak into my skin. Um, I don't wear makeup most of the time now, so that might be contributing to my good skin. I don't know, but this is one of my favorite things and that's about it like that's really all i use i mean last night i mixed this stuff in with my moisturizer it's like the herbivore emerald i think it's like cbd uh moisture glow oil i don't i've this is probably expired like i've had this for so long but like look how much is left so every so often i'll use that other than that i am not consistent with anything i've tried i know this isn't really skincare but i've tried like gua shawing this is covered in dust because i haven't touched it in a few weeks um i have like a micro needle roller thing that i've used in the past i do have the solo wave wand like that red light wand but like none of that stuff is being used consistently so i'm not even going to say that contributes oh and then sometimes i use this eye cream at night i forget most of the time but it's neutrogena retinol eye cream <laughs> i don't know i really die when it comes to skincare well i i'm consistent with it but i'm like not i think I don't want to say skincare is a scam but what i will say is i think skincare is really shoved down a lot of our throats when we don't necessarily need it. Like we're forced to think we need like retinol and cinnamide and niacinamide, I, like all of these chemicals. And like, I look, I will, like, I'm lucky in the sense that I haven't really had to worry about dealing with acne or controlling any sort of issue with my skin. But I think a lot of times people think they need more than they really need. And I realized that over the past few years, I used to be huge into like the Sephora shopping and like, all those different serums like at one point i had like all like the plump plump cream and the niacinamide glow drops and all those things that people always talk about and i just realized that like everyone is so different and if you don't need it you don't need it like don't don't make yourself think you need all these products that influencers are throwing at you because most of us don't and we're all still so young like i know we're trying to control and prevent wrinkles from happening and stuff but i mean like it's I honestly, like I had a huge, like come to Jesus moment with that a few years ago. I was spending so much money in Sephora and I was just sitting there and I was like, my skin looks the same. I don't need all these products. I'm so hungry, I need to go eat. So I'm gonna do my skincare. Oh, and I always double cleanse with this. I'll do it once and then I'll do it a second time. I just like how that feels, so I take with that. Also in the morning, I definitely try to use like colder water and you guys like, yeah, you guys told me to do like my face plunge in the morning. I just started doing that. So like I'll do that first before I do any skincare, obviously, or else it would wash off my skincare. Like I think using cold water has definitely helped in the morning as well. Not only does it like wake you up, but I think it's also really good for your pores. And I think I also heard it helps your other skincare be more effective. <laughs> Take that with what you, what you will. I have no idea if that's true. Okay. So then I'll just, I'll use this this morning just to show you guys. I do use this in the morning every so often. I think the instructions say to use it morning and night. So I just do that and then I'll do a few dabs and then I just 
It feels so good. It feels good, like especially at night when I'm using that deeper cleanser, because at least my, my skin ends up feeling a little tight from the cleansing. And this just helps hydrate, keep your skin nice and hydrated. I know some people are so anti-toner, but like I have always loved toner. I like how it makes my skin feel. It just makes it feel like extra clean on top of already being clean. So I just, you know, wipe that all over my face. I always get the neck too. Also, if I have like self-tan and it's like starting to come off on my neck, like this will help. <laughs> I don't right now, but if I did. The worst part about this packaging, I will say, is this needs to be upright. I have traveled with this when it's sideways and over time it will leak out. So bear that in mind. I just make sure it dries. And then I dab my fingers in there, get some of this and I just, The smell of this is so good too. It's like just like clean scent. My driest areas are my forehead and right around my mouth. So I always make sure to like really moisturize that area. I mean, obviously this time of the year I shouldn't be having an issue, but if you guys watched a few vlogs back or maybe like a handful of vlogs by now, I was taking Zyrtec because I was getting some allergies and I broke out in a ring of dryness around my mouth. <laughs> So like ever since then i've been like super cautious with making sure i like really moisturize that area okay and that's my morning skincare routine i'm gonna go make a smoothie now but that's all i do i like to keep it very easy in the morning because like the last thing i really just don't want to be doing a lot of steps and i just want my skin to like feel nice in the morning This is probably gross, but I don't like wash my, I don't wash a lot of my produce. <laughs> like I'm not washing these strawberries. I'm just raw dogging it. Also, can we talk about the term raw dogging? I didn't know that was such like a Gen Z or whatever term. Like we, I've literally, we've been saying that. Like we used to say that in college. I feel like it's not like a new thing, but they use it for like a lot now. Like I saw an article that was like someone raw dogged their flight, meaning they didn't use any sort of Electronics, okay, that's like a little far for the use of that, I think. Oh, some of these strawberries are weird. I had to buy a thing of strawberries that was this big at the store because they didn't have like the smaller ones. So now I'm like, okay, like I can kind of overdo the strawberries in the smoothie. Trying to just eat more fruit in general. So what do I do now? I'm like, I, I've been drinking my coffee earlier because of my morning walk and like getting up earlier. And I feel like I am just, on crack in the morning. I just feel like so hyper. That's a good thing. Oh, my battery's flashing. No. And it's way too liquidy. I do it every day. I'm gonna go, oh my God, guys, how cute. I haven't seen Max lay on that tree in a little bit. He lays on it when it's cold out. Hi. some licks it's so sweet hi baby Aww, having a good nap yes you are having a good nap go back to sleep hey win hi baby you want to eat some boy you gonna give me a lick too thank you <laughs> i love you okay i'm I'm gonna go for a run. Um, I feel like the time goes by really slowly now when you wake up earlier and you get your day started. It's like only 1.30 and I feel like I've been working forever. But I've only been working for six hours. Well, only, my, my day's pretty much done. I only have two more hours once I'm back from lunch and I really don't have to do anything because I did everything before lunch. So I can like work on some stuff around the house. Instead, for my manager, you didn't hear that. I'm gonna pick out a shirt. <sighs> Let's hope my plantar fasciitis holds up. Let's hope my pinky toe doesn't hurt too badly. Um, what shirt should I wear? I have so many running shirts. I don't wanna wear this one. I like this color. Cause I'm already wearing like gray shorts. So I feel like I can't wear a gray running shirt. Bless you. Oh my God, look at them. Hi cuties. <laughs> also would like to control this tonight some of this needs to be listed on poshmark some of this just needs to go into my pile for goodwill you know 
we're getting there. I'm proud of myself for the progress we made last weekend, but I still have a ways to go. If, oh, so I feel like I look like a doofus always wearing these slides with socks, but it's because of my plantar fasciitis, okay? Okay, I did it. Look at me. I look like the color of my shirt. Cute. Did three and a half miles. I am definitely like not as in shape as I once was. There's this like really big hill and I like got most of the way up of it. And then at the end, I was just like, I can't. Cause my issue is like my heart rate starts to get so high and like I'm like almost wheezing. So I have to like, I can't always push myself or else it'll make it worse. So I have to like, I have to know when to reel back and like relax. <sighs> I still feel like out of breath. I'm gonna take a cold rinse shower right now because I'm just like, I have to give it to myself though because like, can everyone else just get out there and run three and a half miles? No, um, so I can't like beat myself up for it. But I, my pace was actually really good. It was like faster than normal and I've barely been running. So I think it's my shoes, my shoes. I just started wearing these new shoes. They're the Sakani endorphin speed three i think i can link them if anyone's interested i think they're good for like short runs i think well they're good for anything but i think they're specifically good to help with speed and i bought another pair of shoes specifically for my longer runs and i want to wear those for the half marathon those are like my half marathon shoe they have like a really good rock to them so like it really helps propel you shoes are huge i mean like yes it is on you to like run at a certain speed like you control how fast you run but your shoes make a huge difference they really do and i don't think people realize that and like granted like if you're not running for speed and you're just running for the sake of getting exercise then who cares but it is really interesting when you start getting into like the world of shoes because there are just so many and like oh my gosh it's crazy these are the ones i have they're the endorphin speed roll technology i don't know but they have like a really good like rock you can see how like the toe that like the way the sole comes up to the toe they're so good i really oh there was a rock i thought i felt a rock oh god this is not an ideal spot to vlog is it <laughs> my hair is like not it's so flat now oh I have such fine hair and it's like when I work out, like I run or something and I don't wash it after, it like just does not spring back to normal, which is frustrating. After I took my shower, it was so cute. My cousin called me because I had mailed out, I'm asking her to be my maid of honor and I had mailed out her little box, like her proposal box on Tuesday, no, Monday. And I knew it was gonna get there today and it got there and she FaceTimed me like freaking out, it was so cute. So sweet, so that went over really smoothly. It's funny cause like her and I don't talk all that much, but like we'll like respond to each other's stories and stuff. And I just think like, like family is just so important to me. It just felt right to ask a family member to be my maid of honor rather than like a close friend. And it's also funny cause I was like, I was her mom's flower girl when I was a kid. So I just think it's like a cute cycle. And we're also asking my cousins on my mom's side, they, um, there's three little girls on that side of the family. Like there's three like baby girls and I'm asking all three of them to be like my flower girls. I thought that would be really cute. Or at least the two of them. I don't know if the third one, because the two are sisters. The third one, I don't know if she wants to bring her when they fly up here because they all live in texas it's a whole thing so i, I haven't like officially asked them my grand i think my grandma mentioned it to my cousin like when she last saw her and she was like excited about it so i still have to like figure out how to like formally ask them to be my flower girls i don't know how that works <laughs> i've never seen people do that before so i don't know like do i send them something i don't know i'll figure that out more to come but like so that's family and then my maid of honor is my like cousin so it just like felt right and she was so excited i love her she's so cute i think it's cute because like she's younger than me and I think she like looks up to me a lot and I just think she was so excited and it was like unexpected. So I'm so happy about that. I'm really, really excited. Sorry, I keep touching my, look at how flat I keep touching my hair because it's bothering the crap out of me. Um, and then I finished up work. I was on the phone with my brother for a little bit and I just bought my plane ticket to Florida for next week. I'm so excited. It was like only 250 to fly down there for like, I think I'm going for like five or six days. Oh, Matt's home. Can you even see him? 
there he goes i have to go make dinner um but i did want to finish off this vlog here i'll probably like show you guys a little bit of what we're doing for dinner but in case i don't formally say goodbye and close this vlog i'm closing it here um why is there a siren <laughs> we live in the middle of the woods so i bought my plane ticket i went through all my emails which i've been putting off and i booked our wedding night hotel i do want to go back on my computer later and like do the checklist from the knot and like check off everything we've done i have to get in contact with the officiant again i felt i kept canceling on him because matt kept getting busy so we weren't able to meet uh, and have a facetime call so we're gonna do that i have to reschedule that with him and then yeah i am gonna start a new vlog i think tomorrow but i'm doing so well getting up early i felt so good about it i feel so energetic i feel like i get so much more done during the day and i just feel like my mental state is a lot better i feel a lot less stressed and i feel a lot less like irritable and angry if that makes sense i just feel more calm and able to accomplish things during the day so that's been very positive i think it's a combination of getting up early having a morning to myself getting some work like getting a workout in like just getting a walk in getting some movement in is so good for my brain and my mental health my mental state i guess and then on top of that i'm drinking my coffee earlier which i think is also helping because when i was drinking my coffee like mid-afternoon i was getting so anxious and stressed drinking it earlier gives me that energy to get stuff done and just be more productive and by the time the afternoon rolls around i'm not stressed anymore so that's been really really positive so Winnie, do you see the neighbor's dog? <laughs> He's watching the neighbor across the street's dog. She's outside going to the bathroom. All right, bye. I'm gonna go make dinner. Mm -hmm.